we all get minutes. We get 4,000 minutes every single day. Uh, if you're a child, you get about 9 million minutes to get to be a child up until you're about 18 years of age. So here's all of this time and the minutes matter, especially when you're small, when the, when the, when the spirit of your, soul, of your soul is tender, uh, impressions can be made. If you wait until those of you who are over 12 years old, when you, if you wait until you're teenagers and now you want to make an impression in the cement, you know what you need? You need a hammer and a chisel just to even make a little mark. And if you wait until you're old like me and you want to make an impression on this cement, you know what it takes? Boom! It takes a stick of dynamite. It's so hard to get a grown-up to think differently or feel differently about things. But you're in the perfect spot right now that God has it where he can shape your heart, shape your mind, and shape your path into the future. And I promise you, even if you don't feel it going on right now, it is going on right now. And someday you will look back and say, oh my goodness, when that teacher said that, that shaped my heart. It made me think I'm smart. Or someone said, my, but I'm generous and I feel good. I like splitting the cookie in half and giving the big half to somebody else. I like being courageous. I like helping those who look like they're lonely and nobody else is befriending them. Uh, that's all going on in your heart right now. God is at work making you who he wants you to be. But you know what? We often say, well, you got to wait till you're a grown-up to really do something important. And I'm like, no, you can do it now. You are in the perfect place right now to do hugely important things. So not only do the minutes matter as your heart's being shaped, but you know what you can do now? You can use minutes to shape the hearts of people around you. How can you do that? Well, I don't know. When you walk into the cafeteria and you see somebody who is always sitting by themselves, and all of the popular kids are over at that table, you got a choice to make. What are you gonna do? You wanna, in a minute, change that person's life? Go sit with the one that nobody else is sitting with. Find something in a minute you can say to them like, my, but your hair is beautiful. Or my, but you're kind. Or my, I heard your answer in class today. You are so smart, I wonder what you're gonna grow up to be. You can do this now even though you're still young and your own spirit is being, is being shaped. So do this. Don't wait until you're grown up. Don't any, let anybody tell you you got to wait. Right now you are surrounded by people who need your loving touch. And you can do it with an act of kindness. You can do it with a nice word spoken. And you, you can change the world already. And so do it today. In fact, every morning, make a plan. I'm going to do one thing today that takes only one minute to do that'll change the lives of the people around me. God will show you what to do. He will give you the thoughts and you will be surprised how much fun it is to be the one that makes the world a better place.